Um, good morning everyone. So um, today, Ian, my youngest son, will paint in real time this reference photo, which is um, a photo of Takla Lake in, uh, I'm not sure if I pronounce that right, but basically this uh, picture comes from uh, our photography book on Washington by Tom Kirkendall and Vicky Spring. Okay, so this is one of my favorite uh, reference books, res reference book for uh, landscape photography, which I use as reference for some of my paintings. Okay, so if you have you had seen the apple at uh, the barn in an apple orchard, it is one of those. Uh, that is what that uh, the photo I use for that painting came from this book. Okay, so let's watch Ian paint this reference photo using our Himimiya gouache. Alright? But first, we use our... Pen. Say hi, Muna. Hi, my name is Ian. So welcome back to our video. And we're going to, to get a pencil for, for this art. Okay, so throw muna no, baby. Okay, let's get your pencil. Any pencil there? Sketch mo lang yung ano. Okay, so first we're going to draw the mountain. It's not going to be easy. So, here it comes. So next we do the distant forest actually. Let's do this here. That's the distant forest. It's going to be dark green in there. The distant forest, and we do green here. This is the whole forest actually. Comes the there. Go. So, we're gonna do a shadow from you know here. We're gonna do the shadow here, there. And you see, there's a reflection on the lake, and that. The same thing we do. So there we go. Create the shadow. So next, it's the water. No, it's just the hay on the water. It comes. So I'm going to do this. It just look like infinite uh, jumps you do. But it's, it's, it's easy actually. Just do this. Okay, I'm just gonna do it in slow motion. There we go. That's easy. There. We created that. Or let's just create some detail for the art. We're just gonna get the You can see that because I actually got hay in that one. So, this is where we're going to stop now, like that. Just imagine that there's an invisible line here. Just imagine. There. Now we're done for the other for the side. Then, we'll paint the... We'll now paint. So, first, wet your brush first. 
Next, we do the... Because actually the mountains are already white, so let's just add some a little bit of black. Just a little bit of black. Where's black? Because one black is actually just blue. Here, we found it. It's black. So, what you need to do is do this, this. Actually, it's hard to do this. So, it's just okay if you do a, a mistake here or under a Lines. So we we need we need a lot of white actually because the rocks are actually just circular. So to fix that we need white. So first clean your brush. So spin it around until it's clean. Okay. Do you think it's clean now? Maybe it's not clean because I can see some black still. Okay, I'm done. So first, dry your brush. Then next, we do white. Color white. Now it's going to be gray actually because actually the, the, the black will do the white to become gray. So you see that? That's gray. It's just look like a little bit blue and gray. Now, <clears throat> if you just get your painting passed through the dark forest in the distance, it's okay. It's just painting. So actually, let's let's imagine that that is the shadow. Imagine there's a sun on the back of the mountain, so it will become realistic. Okay. So so my painting is already dry, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of white again because actually my brush is already dry. So this time, don't dry off the brush. Just do it like this, like this. Not okay. So <clears throat> here it comes. I'm going to white. There. Now it is already white again, but it's already gray again. Actually. So <clears throat> here it comes. We're going to a dark color, which is actually black. It's becoming gray. Just don't disturb that. It's okay. There. <clears throat> now. So, let's see if it's wet. Because if it's wet, it's a problem. So, <clears throat> there. Just let it dry off. So, we need dark green. But how do we do that? Mix the color. So, it's okay if you got dark green on your palette. It's okay. So, now, do the same thing you do from the brush, like this. This is the same thing you do from the mountains, okay? I see some white on the brush still. That's okay. So, as you've seen, my water's already white. It's okay if the water is going to be white. Your brush is not going to be white again. <laughs> you know. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to do dark green. Actually, I have dark green on my palette. So, actually, here it comes. And actually, we need a little bit of white. Okay, but first we need some green first. That's light green. We're going to darken it uh, after the greens, the green dark forest. Okay, so we're done. We're just gonna add. Okay. Okay. 
they just so wet your brush so the paint will go out of the the, the paint will go out of the brush. So <clears throat> what what do we do here? So <clears throat> actually looks like we need some black. Maybe black. Let's try that. Okay, so we add black. It's okay if it's actually still black. I just think it's just a dark forest from the distance. Just think of it. There we go. We're done for the painting. Not just the painting. The painting for the dark forest. Okay. So, now we do get the color out of the brush. So, we're going to paint this orange red after this so <clears throat> now we do drawing again while the paint is actually there and keeps drying so add some lines it just look like from here the the thing in the other side of the painting it's just like that There it comes. So, we're done for this forest. So, actually the dark forest is still wet. So, <clears throat> now let's return our pencil. Now, now the brush is wet. It's totally wet. So, let's dry it. So, let's dry. So, <clears throat> our next one, we don't need the dark color. We need just a little bit of green. Green, actually. So, <clears throat> actually, I just seen a picture that it actually has long shadow. So, I'm just gonna fix that. There. Okay, so, <clears throat> first we're going to paint the shadow. Then, we're going to paint the... Oh, yeah. Forest. So, <clears throat> okay. Next, we're gonna do the shadow for black. So we're always using the black in here. There we go. It's actually super dark. You can't even see anything. So. done for the shadow next we're going to paint the forest close through the water so it looks like it's not close through the water okay so next we're going to add uh, green green we're going to green. there so it looks like it's light green It's okay. So the sky is the hardest part for this painting. Green is already dry, so I'm just gonna add a little bit 
So, here we go. We're done for here. So, we're going to fix that shadow. It's so, so, so dark. So, <clears throat> we need to add green. So, a little bit more. For the shadow, next it's going to be the what's that again? It's actually this the hay from the water. So, actually, I'm just gonna add that a little bit more long. Actually. Now it's actually even more smaller. So, there we go. Okay, that's a little bit too small. There we go. We're done for that. So, <clears throat> our next one is to paint that tail. Actually, so. <clears throat> next, we're add. We're gonna add a little, a uh, lot of orange. Okay, so as you can see, my water is already turquoise, turquoise color. So <clears throat> now my mom is going to uh, replace the water into clean water again. Mommy. Okay, so let's just wait for her. So, we're going to paint orange again because it's already dry. Now it's now the water is already clean now. That is perfect. So <clears throat> here we go. So there we go. So the orange is a light. It, it's actually light. So next we're going to add red. So red plus orange equals brown. Okay, so actually it's still not red for my brush. Okay, we're now we're done. So there it comes. So actually it's actually the answer is brown. It's not actually brown actually. So So it's okay if you do it for for this color. It's okay for this color. There you go. Start orange. Now our next one is the sky. This one. That that is where that is the part where it's so hard. It's actually the sky. So, <clears throat> the answer for that is actually blue. So, blue is just here. My blue is 
So you can do this as a grassland if you want. You can just do that as a grassland. Actually. If you're if you lost if you're lost from this video, press the pause button or skip or just skip the parts. So actually it's not actually just easy. You don't need to be mixing all the colors. Just painting blue. There. Actually the the, the sky view is actually so big. That's why I call it so hard. There. Now my mother's color blue. This is the color. <laughs> it's actually blue. Okay. So, blue. blue. so dark but that's not the answer for our painting now we're done for the sky so how do you do the clouds it's so hard so what do you do is add add a tissue here there it's becoming look like clouds Actually, the shape is not actually looking like a cloud. So, let's see that as visible clouds or invisible clouds. So we, we're going to add this one, the water. So actually it's just the reflection of the water. So, just gonna do that the same. It's the same. So, now, we're just gonna do the same thing from the upper thing, you know. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> Now we're gonna do is add some green. Add some green. This. This. There we go. So it's okay if you do it for a different height 
or no shadow for the forest. It's actually this painting. So, how do we make a shadow on the reflection? So, that is this. It's becoming dark. The green is becoming dark. But the orange in here is getting dark too. So, actually, it's becoming green now. So, now we're going here. So next, we're done for the that thing. So, next we're going to do the dark force in the distance, like we just did minutes ago. So, here I go. As you can see, the water, the green water is flowing like trees. See? That is the better technique. The water is flowing. That's look like wet on wet, actually. So, <clears throat> now we're done for the shadowy forest ahead. Next, we're going to add the mountain. So, we're just going to do it upside down. So, upside down painting, right? It's a little bit of different from the original mountain over there. So now we're done for the mountain. It's here now. So now we're adding a little bit. It's already messy. The mountain is messy now. So, look at that. Messy. The water is already messy. So, let's add some water. That's it. Okay, so it doesn't look like a black thing. So, I'm just gonna add some black. Little. We do draw the sky. So here we go. So actually, the, the sky is actually getting getting the mountain. So imagine that's that's a cloud. It's a cloud blocking it. So we're close to done on this painting. It's okay if it's if it's not good. It's good. It's beautiful. So what you can do, Anak, once this these uh, paints are dry, you can just add this drawing here, just to show that these are grasses. I will teach, I will show you how I, we can uh, we can add the details later once these are dry. Okay? Let me just show them that. Oh. Now we're done. Now we're done for this painting, but my mom says we need uh, those, those in detail. detail right. okay. So what we can do, because we have these grass details here, so we don't add this, right? 
sayang if you don't add. So let's, since this part here is dry, almost dry, we can add, we can add yellow ochre for the weeds. Okay, we can add yellow ochre color using filbert brush. Okay. And just add those details, sayang. Those are grasses, di ba? The grasses you drew. Let's add those details. Okay. And then let's add this burnt sienna color also for the shadow part. What do you think? Is that good? That's good. Okay. And then we can just mimic that here because those are reflections, right? Yes. Reflected. Those are reflected grasses. Okay. Is that okay? That's okay. Then let's add more yellow over here. Para, I know. You can also use a fine brush for this one. Para lang may grass details. What do you think? Is that, a, is that cool? So do you want do you want to draw this this part? Those are white clouds, diba? So we can use white. And how about we draw the clouds? But in in sort of texture that shows mm, the flow of water. How is that? That's good. Come on, come on. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about this one? There are grasses here. Do you want to do the grass details here? Just like this? You can do that. Using, um, say, uh, so this is orange. How about reddish? Reddish brown. Like this one. Okay. I'll try more. I'll just uh, rinse the brushes in. Hmm, mm. grass, grass detail yan na lang. It should be like this. Yeah. See? There are grass details here, di ba? How about you do that? Just flick your brush like that. Is that cool? that that highlight section there you can actually uh, try adding um, sort of orange like that but actually better if you apply this when the paints are dry but you can already dry brush some just to show that light is hitting this part oh sorry about that this part of the weeds or the grassland. How about that? Is that okay? Yes. This part is dry. How about adding a bit of yellow ochre? Also, you can use this brush. And then, like that, another one. Those are the part where light is hitting the leaves. That's why they are light colored. Okay? Beautiful. Okay? Do you want to add more snow or ice on your mountain? Use white. Okay? Huh? Do you want to do that? So you go ahead. Okay. I'm adding white. Painting part. Just look at the reference photo and see where the, the white stuff are. There should be shadows there as well. Okay, 
ding ng white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm done for the mountain. to paint also with Ian. I really like his painting because it's a uh, it's uh, it shows the sky reflected on the lake below and then there's this piece of land with uh, weeds in orange color and then there's this grassland and then there, there's a part where you have the shadow and the shadow or rather the reflection of this uh, meadow right here really like it and I'm glad that you were able to also watch this. Sorry, I'll, let me just shift the camera a bit. Um, thank you for watching and painting with Ian if you're able to join. Uh, we Again, we used um, Himimiya gouache for this artwork and do subscribe and click that bell so that you will be able to be uh, so that you get notifi notification uh, for our future videos. Stay safe and healthy. Bye for now.